all things sports and entertainment. So Coach Prime and the Colorado Buffaloes went on a road game to University of Central Florida this past Saturday. Now, the game was delayed during due to the uh, hurricane that had came through and actually came through here in Atlanta as well. And due with UCF having fifth and sixth year seniors, Colorado was down a uh, two point underdog, two touchdowns uh, underdog. Most people thought Colorado was going to lose, but they came in there. And they started off kind of cold. Shador immediately threw an interception. But then after that, it became the Colorado show. The, the defense was clicking. The offense was clicking. Shador went 28-35, uh, 290 yards, three touchdowns, one interception. I mean, the rushing yards, uh, you know, uh, the most uh, running back run for, for Colorado was 39 yards. But receiving, I mean, you got Will Shepard went four for 99 to touchdown. Travis Hunter, uh, who should win the Heisman, eight for 89, one touchdown. Uh, Jimmy Horn, five for 41, no touchdowns. Uh, Lejante Wester, uh, three receptions, 34 yards and a touchdown. And Travis Hunter also got a... Now, the game was... was, was uh, this is a pretty dominant game. It actually started before because it, it appeared that Shador and Travis dissed Cam Newton who was trying to chop it up with them. But this is a good win for Coach Prime and Shador and uh, the Colorado Buffaloes. Now, you do it seems like since Nebraska game, they're starting to understand some stuff. I seen a clip go out last week where uh, Coach Prime told his team, y'all think y'all, y'all, y'all think y'all, uh, basically y'all think y'all winning. Y'all think y'all done something when we squeaked by Baylor and he made them start to practice all the way over. And that kind of went viral. And I don't have no problem with that, honestly. You can tell that now, I, like I got said, I don't know what was said in that locker room, but they're starting to gel. I mean, the offensive line, they still, you know, steal some penalties. Shador, my only critique, I still have, he holds the ball just, just a little too long, you know, trying to make a play. Sometimes you got to just throw it away. But, I mean, hey, they're, they're, they're looking pretty good. Now, I had them winning at least six to six games possibly eight but i mean right now i mean they're already four and one you know they're already four and one the only team they lost to was nebraska i mean they've been clicking ever since now they do have a bye week coming up so they won't be playing uh, this upcoming saturday but october 12th they go they go up against uh number 20 kansas state then after that on the 16th uh number against arizona and then against cincinnati so i mean hey i think they can beat for sure arizona cincinnati and they might even beat kansas state if they do then they go up to seven and one which will make them i believe i believe they'll be all bowl eligible which i think they'll do now i still feel like this coach prime last year and maybe his goal was to get travis hunter to win the heisman which if, if he don't win that then you know college football got an issue with coach prime but i do feel like he's still gonna leave but He'll leave the program better than where it started. And even up against that, they might be Texas Tech. Uh, they go up against Kansas November 23rd, o Oklahoma State. So, I mean, hey, in theory, what if they win nine games, you know? I don't think they'll put them in the playoffs, but they'll still win nine games and go to some bowl. I don't know, Citrus Bowl, Independence Bowl, FedEx Bowl, something. When that, Coach Prime, either he takes another job or he retires. Travis Hunter goes pro. Shador Sanders goes pro. They'll both be top. 15 picks um i personally think travis would go before shador at this moment more than likely at receiver but you know you never know but yeah i mean hey they they, they surprise all the critics in vegas and like i said when you winning when you winning and can't nobody say nothing you know what i mean you can wear your you can wear your sunglasses y'all can be you know everybody against us again i didn't like the fact that shador didn't shake the the young man's hand after the end of the colorado state game but i mean hey if you want to be uh flashy and reading your rose royce and all that cool you just gotta win you know i'm jason whitlock could come out and, and still pick the team apart because he has an agenda against coach prime but hey when you win and what can somebody say but i just want to get my quick thoughts about it again uh a shout out to colorado buffaloes they get a rest week coming up tell me what y'all think